ये इतनी पुरानी है कि इसका ड्रॉर भी नहीं खुलता है Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. And she doesn't know that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shreya, and I have recently moved to a new house and a new city. So this is actually a very first video that I'm shooting in this house, and I'm very very excited to decorate this new space. I will soon start doing some makeovers here. taking one corner at a time but today in this video we are going to transform a piece of furniture it is actually a very very old table i think it is as old as me or maybe older than me because i think i have seen it at my home since as long as i can remember so last time when i visited my hometown i was actually looking for a piece of furniture to upgrade and to diy and then i saw this very table which was actually calling out at me saying that please please give me an upgrade i really really need it so i actually picked it up and it was really very easy to transport in the car so yeah today we are going to deal with this and as i told you it is a very very old table so it has actually developed a lot of cracks and a lot of paint has chipped off talking of paint it is actually in reddish brown color which is the color that i do not like in furniture it's not my style so i have actually picked up this color this is actually a chalk paint which i have ordered from amazon it is in sandstone color which is kind of a beige color this is the color which we are going to use for the majority of the table there is one more color that i have ordered in amazon which is still on its way but the status shows that it's on the way but it's running late which is status which i have never seen in amazon before but yeah this is actually a gray color which i'm going to use for the design that we are going to make in this table which you'll of course see in the course of this video ये इतनी पुरानी है कि इसका ड्रॉर भी नहीं खुलता है अब तो फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द सैंड पेपर एंड सैंड द एंटायर टेबल I have always seen people sanding their piece of furniture before they paint it. I really don't know why they do that. Maybe because it is easier to paint once it is sanded out. I don't know if it's a word, but yeah. First, we are going to sand it and then start with the painting. I'm going to do the first coat with this which will be a rough one then the second coat with this which I suppose would be the final coat Don't paint me thankless just have to say this no you down the way you move Lost in your fragrance still makes me anxious it doesn't feel right not knowing you knowing you Never show me you tell me the way that you're feeling feeling oh I never ask you the questions cuz maybe I'm fearing fearing oh that's just how it goes maybe there's parts of you that I'll never know Get impatient. This constant waiting. Just wanna be the one that you come to. We act like we're ageless. I don't wanna waste this time. The beauty of chalk paint is that when it's wet, it looks patchy. You can see those black spots everywhere. But once it's dry, it dries like this, even and spotless. what we are at right now i was so wrong when i said that it would require only two coats because i think i would have done four to five coats in total to cover this entire thing but now i think it looks absolutely beautiful i really really like this color i think it looks beautiful as it is but to add a little bit of interest to this table let us create some design on it i really want to give it a minimalistic sort of a look so i don't want to overdo it at all I'm going to use this stencil which I got from Amazon. I was actually hoping that it will be a bigger one, but it came in a very small size and I did not have time to replace it. So let's see what we can do with this. And of course, it will be linked down below if you are interested to buy something like this. I 
I marked the center of the table and with the help of masking tape I stuck the stencil so that it stays in its place. So finally my grey paint did not arrive on time so I am using this sage green chalk paint. I am using this sponge brush and just dabbing it like this on the stencil. Please note that you should not be mixing any water with the paint else the design will leak out. Keep it dry and keep dabbing. Some of the paint chipped off when I removed the stencil so I fixed it with a zero size brush and in hindsight I was happy that the stencil was small in size, it makes the table look more minimal. I also decided to use the same stencil, a smaller part of it for the sides. table looks now. It has got a completely different look all together. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I really really feel odd while saying it every time. But please do because it really helps my channel grow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.